Oh, man. I got my Harley Davidson shirt on. I'm feeling like a bat. Today, baby. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to JB Reviews, man. And shout out to Jonathan for sending me this video. Um, but, man, how the heck is Ram going to sell all these trucks? We got another truck video for you guys checking out the market, seeing what's going on in other places around the world, man. And it's getting crazier and crazier every single day. But hey, man, just here to make sure you have an okay life. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, drop a like for your boy, show some love. And again, shout out to JB Reviews. The original link to his channel and the link to this video will be in the description box down below. But man, I can already tell how this video is going to go. Another lot video. And just by the comments, you know, keep people are just keeping it real. People are fed up. And we're tired of these sick, evil, corrupt dealers. But hey, let them crash, let them burn, let that lot stay full. Ain't nobody buying it until we start getting 0% interest rates, 1%, 2%, 3%. After four, we might get to hit you upside the head until we can get that, that payment to come down about $20,000, $30,000, $40,000. Twenty, thirty $30,000 off? Oh, man, you have people lined up at the front door. <laughs> But well, let me see. Let me see what these comments are talking about. Eighty to ninety thousand dollars for eight for the AC trucks is crazy. A few local dealers here are stuck with the twenty twenty threes and still asking seventy thousand plus. <laughs> Until Stellantis offers zero percent uh, interest rates combined with further significant discounts, they will sit and suffer. Lot rot, lot rot. They aren't selling. Just drove by local Chevy and Ford dealers. They are loaded with inventory. Also, interest rates, high high interest rates, high prices equal no sale. The consumer is wising up. Let the dealers choke on them. <laughs> that might be the best comment we done read all day. Let these dealers choke. Choke good. Nice. And don't, and don't hit. You better not hit they back. Because some of y'all walk in there and hit they back and... Make them cough it up. Let them choke. Let's check out this video, you guys, from JB Reviews. Welcome back to JB Reviews. You know, I do a lot of videos on HD trucks, right? And the reason why is because, well, I buy them. But what is going on with Ram? Because when you come to any Ram dealer that has a lot of inventory, majority of their inventory are HDs. Now, obviously, there are going to be some half tons too, but. Yeah check it out there's two right here right and as we drive down you'll see there's a ton more so there's a <laughs> lot of trucks here and yeah, we see a lot of these trucks over there at the at the auction lot too because <laughs> the <laughs> the repo man came and got it people get tired of paying that uh what which i was the, the average note on these trucks like 17 18 2200 2, We've seen 22, 21, 18, even 15, 1400, you know. Ha. Here. Now, some of these trucks are like 95, 98, 100,000. This one that I'm driving in right now, this is a $105,000 truck. But yeah, all the way down here, you guys can see HDs. Didn't stop there though. There's a few right there. There's one down there. Actually, there's multiple ones down there. On this side, you guys can see that dually. There's a black one. There's a few more down those aisles. They're just kind of spread out everywhere, right? There's a lot of trucks here. That's a nice dually, by the way. Blackout. Black, black dually. And yeah, let's keep going. Now we're back over to the main lot. And you would think that most of the trucks on the overflow are majority of the inventory, right? But no, that's not true. They have a few over here, and they have a whole row of HD pickups right here. There is a lot of trucks at the store. There's one right there. There's one down there. Now, that's a used truck right there. We're not including those, but all the way down, they you have a up. row of... They lined up, man. Oh, man, I hope y'all got somebody to come out there and that just go down the line of cleaning them up and keeping them, keeping them clean. <laughs> HDs. There's a few of them parked on this side. They're just everywhere. It's what I'm trying to show you guys. There's one right there. Check out that power wagon. That is nice. There's another HD right there. And then, yeah, there's a lot of 
HD's here. So what's my point? A lot of people are saying that trucks aren't selling, right? A lot of people are saying that the market's about to crash. I've been seeing videos like this for like the last two years. And here we are. And yeah, the market has definitely slowed down. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. The market has definitely slowed down. You're seeing more inventory than we've seen in like the last three years. Also, every one of these trucks are discounted heavily. You can get probably 10 grand off easily without even negotiating. 10 grand off on that truck. This one right here, you're probably six to seven grand off. They don't really give you a lot of rebates off on these limiteds. I think it should be 20, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> what y'all think, family? Y'all think the same thing by 25? Yeah, 25 off that depreciation th asset. You know, as, well, as we've seen, some of these trucks do hold their value until a point. You know, compared to like a freaking sedan, SUV, or an EV, you know. But still a depreciating asset, or rather how you want to see it or not. If it's on a moving, it's a, if it's on, if there's an engine and moving wheels, it will depreciate. Yes, indeed. But there was a time when people were paying five grand over sticker, or even upwards of 10 to 15 grand over sticker for dualies, right? So let's go over the number. So Those I'm here at Larry days. H. Miller Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah. And as I said, they do have every one of their HD half-ton trucks discounted heavily. And when you think about 2500s, for example, let's go find a 2500. So here's a 2500. So right now, currently, they have 46 three-quarter ton rams in stock 2024s brand new trucks i'm not talking about used trucks right now today they have 46 of these as far as your one tons like this dually they have 37 one tons in stock now that's including single rear wheel and dually so just keep that in mind when you think about that number that's not a lot of trucks so in the last 90 days, how many trucks do you think that they've sold at this one location? Well, this is not a big, big dealer in terms of like sales. Like there's other larger stores. In the last 90 days, they sold 21 three quarter ton pickup trucks. They sold 24 mm. one ton. So that's about 45 trucks, just HDs in the last 90 days. Now, Obviously, you guys know this. Not many people are knocking down the door to spend a hundred grand on an SUV. By the way, <laughs> this Grand Wagoneer is stunning. Mm -hmm. I love the way this thing looks. Love the wheels. You don't normally see these. This is a Series 3, $119,000. Oh my goodness. The only thing that's missing, I wish it had tan interior. If that were the case, this would have been perfect for me. And it has the TVs in the back. I don't like that. I would not get that. Someone said the only thing is missing is a lower price. <laughs> Uh, Y'all are funny. Be quiet. You shut your mouth. You better not say anything the rest of the video. <laughs> oh, man. But we've seen these things sitting up for, what, a year and a half? 400 days? Shoot. That option for 2600 bucks. But, yeah, you don't see people knocking down the door for Jeeps, for cars, SUVs at 100000 Luxury. Luxury SUVs. So it's no surprise to me that these trucks aren't selling as fast because this is a lot of money, guys. You know, and most guys don't really work with their trucks. Most of the time we're pulling RVs or going out boating, whatever the case is, hunting. So that's why we buy these trucks, right? I think that right now, this is the perfect time to buy a truck because this is probably one of the few times in our market where you're going to be able to come in and demand what you want. If you want to get more for your trading, if you want to get more off the truck, you kind of hold the cards right now. If it were me, I would be out here looking for a deal. Now, if you bought a truck back in 2020 and 21 and you paid 10, 15 grand over sticker, whew, I feel bad for you because even with that kind of negative equity, unless you put a lot of money down, you're going to still be upside down. Upside but yeah, down. trust me when I say this, once Ram redesigns their trucks, there's going to be a big push to get a new Ram pickup truck because right now these 
are just aged. I wouldn't buy a Ram right now for sure because I already had one and there's not a lot of differences on these trucks for me to justify buying another one. Now if they gave me, like I said earlier, they gave me like MSRP for my GMC Sierra AT4X and gave me the kind of money they're getting off on these trucks, I would consider it. But again, I think I would rather just wait and see what Ram does for that 2025 model year. But again, this is the best time to come out and buy a truck. If you've been waiting, I would just go ahead and buy a 2024 because if they do a redesign, you don't want to get the first model year of it, obviously. And right now they're putting like four grand of like just rebate. So you can get 10 to $15,000 off some of those higher trim levels like the Laramie. I'm not sure if the Limited and the Longhorns have that rebate, but I think I saw where the Laramies were like four grand off. Also, you have great uh, financing options. Although if you have to give up the cash, I wouldn't do it. But I hope this video was helpful. I know a lot of people are doing a lot of videos around, oh, the market's crashing. But people have been doing those videos for like the last two years. And I stray away from doing videos like that because there's not a lot of evidence to show that. The market has slowed down, but that's just because people are starting to come back to reality and see, oh, wow, we have a lot of debt. I see some people say, that. well, there is a lot of evidence to show. <laughs> a lot of people have a lot of debt. And now they got big car payments and rates are really high right now. I think that's probably the biggest factor today is that rates are seven, eight percent, you know, for new cars. And well, actually, that's probably for business. They're probably a little bit lower for personal. But when I bought my cars, I mean, rates are high for businesses and it's just deterring people from wanting to buy. But Ram trucks, man, we see people still with amazing credit scores, 700s, 800s, still getting hit with. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 percent. Ridiculous. They're still a really good contender. I drive these trucks pretty often and it's very rare that I see any issues with these trucks guys. Like I think if you're looking for a reliable option, Ram is the one because they haven't done a lot of updates to these. I mean, they still run the Eisen transmission on the one tons. And if you want the standard output Cummins, they have the 68R feet. I don't care what anyone says. That transmission is pretty reliable. A lot of guys I've talked to who's done hot shot, they've had great success with it. So yeah, if you're in the market or if you're thinking about buying a truck this year, I think this is the best time because they're giving big incentives on 2024 inventory. And there's a lot of y'all that say, uh-uh, Mr. JB, what is you talking about? I can't afford that. <laughs> Let me see some of these comments. You know, you got to go to the comments, the people that have actually been out here, the people that have actually owned and, you know, went to these dealership lots. Let's see what they're talking about. Someone says, I tried to get a deal on a Ram in the fall last year, and they didn't want to budge much. 67000 for a 2500 Hear me, I got a loaded Chevy LT 3500 for the same price. Mm. With Stellantis doing away with Hellcat Charger Challengers and Chargers and Ram Pickups doing away with their V8 engines, I think Stellantis is saying last one out, turn off the lights. Good. When I'm ready for a new Dually 3500, I expect some good choices glad for them having some inventory <laughs> layoffs coming soon to ram <laughs> if they store them in a huge weather controlled warehouse for 40 years they'll probably sell pretty quick pretty good at sticker price in 2064 <laughs> oh oh man Bro, y'all are the funniest in the comments. Shout out to Tim for that amazing comment. If they store them in a huge weather-controlled warehouse for 40 years, they will probably sell at a good sticker price in 2064. 40 years from now, you guys, these trucks will sell. <laughs> We're going to end the video off with that comment right there, man. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel. If you're an owner, a Ram owner, a truck owner, please comment down below. We would love to hear your opinions, your feed, what you have to say, because your voice matters, man. I love y'all, and I will catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, family.